We want to pray for Sydney Somero, a little girl that's been in the newspaper where her hand got injured because of a, a New Year's Eve blast. You know, she's part of New Hope. Her family is a part of New Hope. And she's a goalie at our, in our New Hope Flyers inline hockey team. And she really wants to play at Sydney Somero. It wasn't a typical New Year's Eve. We, the kids and I usually would stay home. But this year, I just felt that, you know, let's go do something. Let's go out. So we called a friend, and they were going to a friend's house. So we said, okay, we'll join you there. I went by this bridge, and I played with my fire axe alone. I came outside, and I, could, I didn't see where Sydney was. And then all of a sudden, these guys did this bomb, and I got hit. We heard this explosion. And it seemed a little different from the rest of the explosions that went on that night because it just seemed louder and things were flying all over the place. Next thing I know, she's, she came running to me and she was covered in blood and sand and every, I mean, her, she, was, she had blood all over the place. So we just took her to the hospital. When I looked at her hand, I knew it was something serious. And I, and I really thought that, the first thing was that I thought about was she wasn't going to be able to play hockey. And that was her goal. And that's all he did with it. Whatever was missing, he, he just left it out. So the doctors were worried about all kinds of things. But now, what, what, what's going on? In three months, and she's, you know, doing really well. There's a lot of people, yeah, from New Hope that came and prayed for her. So I know that is a big factor. She had a x-ray yesterday and um, when he he looked at it he said that the bones are actually growing back. So yeah that's that was really really good to hear. Only God can do something like that. <laughs> 